Hi guys, it's Finn. I just wanted to do a little video to update on some things that are happening and to share some really, really exciting news because dun 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 dun, dun I have my deed poll. Oh, deed poll. This is just amazing. I'm so, so, so excited. Um, although I've been out and been referred to as male since the new year, um, I've not been able to do it officially. This is because I'm ironically living in a female only building. Um, so I thought that I would probably have to move out to change my name officially. I was hoping that in the very least I'd get a short reprieve by my landlady and she'd allow me just to live here briefly um, and then kind of move out but I went to speak to her last week and she said because I'm in a self-contained studio flat uh, the way this building works is there's some shared dorms and some single flats so I'm in one of those kind of self-contained units so she said it doesn't matter um, and there's no reason why I can't live here as male and I can stay here and transition as male and it's fine so she just uh, yeah she said she can pretty much run this place as she sees fit and there's a great chance that they're going to allow males in the building at some point anyway um, so yay awesome fantastic I'm just so relieved it's such a weight off my shoulders because I don't have to worry now um, about moving and all that upheaval I love my flat I absolutely love living here and to know now that I don't have to put anything on hold I can just get everything moving in terms of just getting my life together really because I've not worked for a while because of the um, mental health history I've had and recovery from drugs and alcohol um, but yeah now it's bridge to normal living so I have a, a plan now to get myself some work eventually um, so yeah I had some a break off uni while I was coming out so now means I can re-enroll as Finn officially under my male name and uh, then get myself a little bit of volunteer work and work my way gradually into some part-time work which is fantastic fantastic and most importantly uh, I don't have to kind of like worry about when tea can happen you know it can happen now Yes, please. Um, so it's fantastic. It's really cool as well because I got my depot on the 9th, which is mine and my partner's 23rd month anniversary. So it's now our anniversary. <laughs> yeah, I'm a soppy git. Uh, so that that was lovely. Um, and my best friend's going to sign it. I'd love my girlfriend to sign it, but of course she can't. But my best friend, you know, I. A lot of the reason I'm walking this journey is down to him. You know, he's given me the courage to actually do this. He's really helped. So to have his signature on this is fantastic. So oh, I'm just so excited. It's just such a weight off my shoulders. Deep pole, deep pole, deep pole. Officially, Mr. Finley J. Fantastic. That's not my surname, by the way. I'm not telling you my surname. I don't really mind. But anyway, yes, Mr. 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 Oh my God. Oh my God. So exciting. Um, I need some tea. Mm. So yes, all rolling now, which is fantastic. It's going to be quite fun. I'm going to change my address everywhere. And address? Name? I mean, apparently some people have a bit of trouble with the, um, the mister because I've changed my title as well. But I've got some letters that I've printed off that will help with that, hopefully. Um, I got through mine through um, the UK Depot service. You don't actually have to. You can just get the template off um, online and print it out and buy the, the seals from W H Smith and what have you. But some places do like to have something a bit more official looking. And I just like the whole process of doing it through there. It just felt more official and nicer. I liked it. So it wasn't too bad. I, I paid £30, I think, for... Original Depot and 10 copies, um, what they call them, certified copies. Well, and I archived it as well, so actually 38 quid. But whatever, it's, it's not that much. And 
it's cheaper than some of them anyway. I'll put the link at the bottom if anyone's interested. I shall put that at the bottom. Um, but yeah, no, it's great because it's got like a watermark and it's also got a barcode. I think it had somewhere. I can't remember where it was. But anyway, yeah, they can. Yeah, they've got a watermark so they can actually go online and check the authenticity of it. Oh, I said authenticity is a big word. So yeah. Um, and just generally catch you up on other things. I saw my doctor last week just basically to check that she had made the referral and that um, everything was going okay and she was fantastic. She made the um, referral basically as soon as I left her office that day which was brilliant and um, so she's a bit confused as to why I've not heard anything but I said it's, I've been told to expect a few weeks at least before they contact me but she said that if they've if I've not got a letter and an appointment through in the next couple of weeks to let her know and then she'll chase it up which is fantastic because now I've got this depot and then you know I haven't got to move just want this rolling now you know I really really do want to you know get on tea or at least kind of like start making headway because at the moment it's just hanging around I'm just just want that psych referral so hopefully there'll be another video next week with me flashing my psych referral letter which would be fantastic um, in terms of other things my last video was very much about adjusting to my new role in this world and everyone else adjusting to me and kind of relationship dynamics changing and just kind of everything kind of shifting really and that was feeling quite uncomfortable and quite tiring the constant kind of coming out but it's settled so much more now so much more loads more people know and I'm not having to constantly kind of go change my name to Finn this is why you know that just doing it all the time that settles um I went to an AA convention on Sunday last Sunday and I did a share there so it was like 100 200 people so I came out of my share so whoever didn't know does now and people are lovely I've just you know the amount of support I'm getting with this is just incredible it just blows me away you know it just really shows me that you know human beings are actually we're all right we're over a good bunch you know you, you kind of worry worst case scenario don't you and then actually people are lovely there's a lot of discrimination out there and a lot you know, I think people just don't really understand but when, when it's somebody that they know, it's a lot different. And yet, yeah, people have been fantastic with me. People of all ages, all genders have just been really, really supportive and, and come up to me and wish me luck. So it's great. Absolutely great. So yeah, it's settling down. I'm feeling a lot happier in myself and a lot more comfortable. I think a lot of that kind of anxiety about kind of being in meetings and bumping into people in the street that don't know just kind of lowered a little and I'm just... It's just getting easier to deal with and explain now, which is really good. I think what's helped a lot as well is actually doing this um, video blogging. Um, because when I put it out, I was hoping to kind of meet more people kind of my age, I think. And it worked because a lovely guy called Tyler, cheers buddy, um, got in touch with me and asked me if I'd like to be part of a collab channel. Um, it's run by Chris and it's called It's a Man's World FGM1. And... Um, yeah, he asked me if I'd like a slot on there, so I'm now uh, one of their guys. I, I do the Friday slot, and that's fantastic. Tyler's a sound guy, Chris is a sound guy. There's some really, really lovely guys on there, some really great videos, really good stuff, really, really great thing to be a part of. So that's fantastic. And I've also met some guys in recovery as well, also in the 12 step program. So that's brilliant. So reaching out and connecting with others is definitely helping. Um, I've been chatting to a really good trans friend of mine today and I'm going to try and get to one of the London meetings soon because I think doing it in the real world, kind of meeting up with some people is going to really, really help as well. I think that's what I need. Just that kind of relating to people that have gone through this early stage and going through it and just, yeah, because I think it's just having people kind of nodding along and going, yeah, I understand how you feel and all of that. That's what I'm, I'm needing more than anything at the moment. But yeah, it's all going really, 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 really well. Yeah. Couldn't be any happier right now, really. It's just fantastic to know that I'm actually Mr. I am officially Mr. I'm officially Finley. It's fantastic. So I'm really, really excited about what's coming up now. And 
I know it's going to be up and down and a bit of a roller coaster and it's going to be rocky times. But yeah, I I can cope. It's going to be awesome. Um, I think that's about all I have to tell you for now. <coughs> really? Um, so hopefully next week I should be getting really excited and holding up my psych referral letter. Please, please, please. That'd be awesome. Anyway, so I shall leave it there for now. Really good to catch up with you guys. Take care, and I shall see you soon. Bye.